Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have an unboxing, but with a twist. This is from Amazon Japan. I've never done anything like this before. Uh, this is all brand new to me, but these tools that I'm gonna show you were only available in Amazon Japan. So I had to create an account online with Amazon Japan and here they are. Uh, how long did it take? It took about, I would say it took right around two weeks. I guess I could have looked to see when I ordered these, but I'm going to say it was right around two weeks. So not too terrible considering this is coming straight from Japan. So let's crack into these boxes because I'm very excited about what's in here. And you guys don't really, you didn't come here to talk, to hear me talk about buying stuff from Amazon Japan. <laughs> what do we have here? Well, we have a Vessel rechargeable screwdriver in green. So I heard about or found out about this stuff on a, another YouTuber's channel. He goes by Morgan's Maintenance. He's got a good, uh, a cool channel where he, he reviews a lot of tools. And uh, some of my inspiration for some of these tools I've been buying lately have come from him. So he turned me on to these. He did a video on them. Uh-oh. We are missing a box. Hmm. Well, I actually ordered three. Three of these and one must still be in transit. Okay, so there's there's a couple differences between these two. There, there is a third one. Uh, so this one here is a limited edition cordless screwdriver. These uh, are rechargeable. They charge off of uh, USB-C cables. And this one is 200 uh, 280 RPMs, and it's two Newton meters of torque. So it's a slower screwdriver, but it has more torque, I believe. I don't know. It's very confusing. They make these in a lot of a couple different versions, and there are a couple U.S. versions. Um, I went with these because of. Well, the green, the green's not available in the United States. And then this one here, I don't believe this version is available in the United States. This has got three different settings on it. And then the, the other one is coming, I think it's higher speed. I think it's higher speed than the rest of these. So there was a reason why I bought these from Japan and not the United States versions. So... Let's open this up. It does come with a bit, it looks like. There's a bit in the back. And a uh, charging cable. Does not come with a wall charger, which is fine. It's just a USB. I mean, this thing will plug into anything. You know, USB cable. Instructions. So these are all made in Japan, I believe. Uh, yep, this one's made in Japan, and this one's made in Japan. High quality stuff. And I don't remember what I paid for these exactly, but they were like $35, $40 a piece. Very reasonable. So, we've got some instructions that are in uh, Japanese. There is no English. So, I won't be reading that. Most likely. It does come with one of their nice vessel made in Japan bits. And I believe it's a two number two Phillips and a number three Phillips. Look at look how small that is. That is so cool to me. I don't know why <laughs> I think that is so cool, but 
I mean, that is tiny. And it's electric. I mean, it's self-propelled. Self-propelled. Forward and reverse, one speed. I don't know what this is, the charging point port? Yep, there's the charging port on the side. Oh, this is not USB type C. This is the older USB. Hmm. I don't like this older USB type port, but um made in Japan, so it's probably higher quality. Look at that light on there, green. I don't know. Why has it got a green light on it? And why does it look so weird in the camera? This this right here, if I'd have had this in my dealership days. Wow, for dash work, I can, oh, this, it would have been epic. So this that's this one. It's 280 RPM. Two newton meter of torque. I should have grabbed Phillips screwdriver, Phillips screw somewhere. I'll find something to take a Phillips screw out of. So that's the first one. So this next one, this next one does say USB Type C on it. And this one's got three different settings on it. 280 RPMs at 1.2 Newton meters, 340 RPMs at 1.6 Newton meters, and 400 RPMs at 2.0 Newton meters. But also vessel made in Japan. Neat packaging. So I do know this, the other, the other screwdriver that I ordered also came with a bit set. Uh, bits, bits like these, I believe. It was like a five piece set, if I remember correctly. correctly. This doesn't say anything on it. I don't see any names. Where it's made, it is a number two Phillips. Very cool. There's just a button right here that you push and hold until the light changes. This one's got a blue light on it. See the lights blinking. That's its slowest setting. Faster blink would be your me medium setting. Push and hold. And solid is your highest setting. Well, this one's charged up here on the ball in. That is a USB type C. It even has it even has a lanyard hole. You could stick a lanyard through that. That's so well thought out. Seriously, I can't get over these. First off, the size is just incredible for what this is. The size is incredible. The, the, the ergonomics of these ball drivers, I love. You can't get enough of this. And then the rubber rubberized over molding to give you ultimate grip. These, these are fantastic. I should find something to screw. Yeah, guys, I have no idea if these are capable of driving screws in a wood like this. Yeah, 
Now you can hand drive them once once they get too tight. I'm sure if you pre-drilled holes, they would have no problem. So this is technically not its intended use <laughs> by any means, but it's still kind of cool that it'll sort of do it. All right, so. You know, drilling, putting screws into raw wood is not what these are ten, intended for. Um, these are more for, you know, taking screws out of things that, you know, are threaded. I don't have, I wish I had something to take apart. <laughs> and I'm not real sure, this is going to sound weird, you know, I'm not real sure what I'm going to use these for yet. I, 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 I don't know. I am going to take them to work with me and uh, put them in my rotation of tools and see, you know, see where they fit in with my, uh, my day to day. But I just thought these were super cool and I had to have them. I don't know. They're just really cool. So let me go check out Amazon. Japan, I gotta go log into my Amazon, Amazon Japan site now and look and see what's the situation with the third screwdriver. Hopefully it's still on its way and it's not missing. God, that would be a nightmare to file a claim with that. I, I don't know how that works. So hopefully it's just on its way. The, these weren't supposed to be here till Thursday this week, I think. So it, it, maybe they shipped them in three different shipments, which is crazy to me. Because I did pay shipping on all these. All three together, the shipping was $30. So they were able to... Sh they shipped them individually for $10 a piece, which is insane. I, it, they came from Japan. So um, I'm not going to go over on how to get tools from Amazon Japan. There's plenty of videos on YouTube that kind of walk you through it. It's really simple, though. You have to set up an Amazon Japan account. Uh, I think you have to do it on desktop. I couldn't figure out how to do it otherwise. And then uh, you're able to shop and change it to English, and then it converts the monies and all that stuff. And then I just paid with a credit card. That way, if anything went haywire, I could dispute it easily. But, uh, yeah, it worked out fine. Like I said, maybe two weeks. We'll see where that other one's at. This one definitely feels more powerful. It says it's 280 RPMs. This one says it, its lowest setting is 280 RPMs. And if you... It really seems like this one's spinning faster. But neither one... These are right out of the box. I haven't charged these at all. So um, maybe I should charge them. And see. But that thing... It doesn't screw it all the way into that wood. But it sure... It sure screws it in pretty far, and I think that's impressive for... I mean, this is not a drill. Or an impact. Hell, I can't even hang on to it. Yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> uh, I will also mention that these will accept any quarter-inch bit. Yeah. So an adapter. And then you could put your, your short quarter-inch bits. And then you, ha you have, you know, the capabilities of whatever, whatever you have in your arsenal at that point. But I prefer these uh, type of bits anyway, these longer shank bits. You know, I have these in Irwin, these, I don't know, two and a half inch, three inch bits all will work in these. 
just fine. A little bit of slop in there. This one does have a longer shank to compensate for that slop. But it still has some play in it. So any bit of work, uh, the real short ones are gonna not lock in properly, but you can put an adapter on and use your little ones. So very versatile tool. Uh, I'll put a link to the US versions in the description if you want to check those out. Uh, it, I don't know if I'll buy those or not. I'm going to play with these a little bit and then kind of make a decision from there. But um, like I said, I'm taking a work, put them in my rotation of tools that I use and see where they fit in. I do see these uh, very nice for taking, you know, for removing headlight bezels and uh, steering column covers, stuff like that. This this is a nice compact tool I guess just throw in, the pot, in my pocket and uh, go do what I got to do. So, very cool. So it's been a couple weeks since I shot the first half of this video and the third screwdriver did show up about a day later. Uh, it was like one day behind the other two. But I got busy and didn't have time to shoot a video. But that gave me plenty of time to, to take these things into work and test them out. So this is the box it came in. This one is also a, a limited edition, uh, only available on Amazon Japan. Uh, it is red. And the thing with this one is it's 1,200 RPM. So it's the fastest out of the three screwdrivers. And it is fast. Um, the torques, torque rating on it is 4 newton meters. On these with the torque is I think that's a uh, like a torque limiting. Like it stops purposely at that torque setting. So I'd have to research these some more and see if there's more of a general purpose version. My door is going to shut. So this one did come with a uh, double-ended Phillips bit. And I think they're both number three. It looks like they're both the same size. But it also came with this pack of um, micro bits. You get uh, three sizes of Phillips and two flat blades. And these are all Vessel Main Japan bits. But uh, very nice little bits. Precision style bits. Which is what I think these screwdrivers are more intended for. I think they're more of a precision electric, electric work, stuff like that. I don't know that these are so much for, um, well, I know, I know for a fact they're not for heavy duty screwing. Cause I, like I said, I did take them to work and test them all out. So in my application, I, all three of these, I took them to work and currently I'm basically a fleet mechanic. Uh, work on, I don't know if I want to tell you. I work on trucks that are pretty basic. So not a lot of interior work, not a lot of dash work. Uh, there are screws, but they're more heavy duty than, than what these things are capable of. So although I love these these screwdrivers, I think they're awesome for the size and the, the, how they feel and how they run. In my application, they're not... They're not heavy duty enough. They don't have enough torque. Now you can use them by hand, but I have other tools that I use that work better. But with that being said, I still I still like these and I'm gonna keep them here at home and use them for home stuff here at home. Like this, uh, if I was doing a bunch of light switch covers or putting something together that had a lot of Phillips screws, these things are gonna be handy. If I was still at the dealership, this would, I, I guarantee you, this would be king for dash work, door panel work, interior work, stuff like that. These these things would be indispensable. So, very cool screwdrivers. I'm looking forward to uh, using these more. And like I said earlier in the video, I'll put the version, uh, I'll put the U.S. versions in the description down below with an Amazon affiliate link. I don't see any reason to go to Amazon Japan and buy these. The ones that are available in the U.S. Uh, seem to be comparable to the multi-speed ones. So I would just go that route if these are if you're interested in these. Um, basically, I 
went to Amazon Japan because I wanted this green one. <laughs> and to make it worth the shipping, I bought the other two to spread the shipping out across three. So that's that's really why I went that route. But if you could, I think this color combination is one of the US versions available. I'm not really sure. So, But overall, very impressed with these little screwdrivers. They are uh, very very comfortable to hold and they 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 work great uh, for lighter duty stuff uh it's it's not fair to put them in a truck environment and then expect expect them to perform they're just you know stuff's more heavy duty but um pretty cool little kit or cool item to add to the tool kit if it's uh something you're interested in and i guess that's all i gotta say about those Overall, my experience with Amazon Japan was um, awesome. Will do again. Uh, there, there are a lot of tools that are, are out there that aren't that are in Japan that aren't available to us, and uh, through Amazon Japan, that's no longer an issue. Shipping wasn't bad; it didn't take very long, and the prices are very good. So, get you some of that. We'll see you guys in the next video.